Thank you for coming out to celebrate all of our accomplishments and hard work. These past four years have been very challenging in and outside of high school. And I'm just so proud of myself and everybody that's here tonight and being recognized. As I look around, I'm filled with immense gratitude and pride to be amongst the top 20 students at East Harvard High School. It is an amazing accomplishment for all of us and a testament to the hard work and dedication that each of us has put into our high school careers. I'm honored to be standing here tonight among not only some of the smartest people I know, but also some of the most hardworking, emotionally intelligent, empathetic, and driven people I've had the chance to share high school experience with. Whether you all started your high school career with the academic with the goal of academic prestige in mind or decided along the way to apply yourselves in with greater effort no matter how we all ended up here we all underwent a change and exhibited our ability to excel as we have claimed our spots as the top 20 students of East Hartford High School's class of 2023. I would like to begin by thanking the teachers that shaped us, the staff that supported us, the parents that raised us, and our friends that were the glue simply holding everything together. From the sleepless nights of studying to the endless amounts of homework and projects, um, I've done it all. Without my determination and my drive, all of the help from the others would have been put to waste. In a society that doesn't make it easy for people like me to succeed, I want you guys to know that I overcame the obstacles pre presented to me because my support system overcame them first. My support system provided me with the foundation to be young, gifted, and black. Thanks to the courage to move to America, I was able to pursue a free and enriching education, all while guaranteeing that my success won't be decided by my identity whatsoever. I am grateful that my parents have done everything in their power to push and allow me to succeed. When I first moved from Peru, it was difficult living somewhere that I knew nothing about. It took me a while to adjust to a new life. Throughout the years, I faced my ob many obstacles, including meeting new people, learning a new language, and acclimating to a new school environment. But with the help of my teachers and school staff, it made it much easier. I started out being homeschooled up until now, and this was honestly like a really great experience for me. I learned a lot about myself and a lot about other people and people as a whole. To me, reading is worth every second, full of adventures, characters, and new ideas. The thing is, the further I got into each year, I found myself reading less and less and finding adventures and friends all around me. My advice for everyone is to find your community. Find your people who uplift and support you. Find your people that don't mind picking you up once in a while when you fall down and don't forget to do the same to them. Communities and relationships are not a one-way street and you should build them with the strongest concrete you can find. I implore you all to ask questions about the hows and whys of your academics. Not because an A would look good in a class, but because you truly want to know and want to have a deeper understanding of anything you study. Speak up. As the daughter of an immigrant father and a very opinionated mother, I was always told to speak up. I didn't have the accents that my parents had, and I had the advantages that they didn't get to have when they were my age. Although life has a way to often break us down, we must rise up to the realities of our destiny. <clears throat> we cannot be broken. Our spirit cannot waver. There's this one quote that I've been living by. Uh, it's from Doctor Who, so bear with me. I'm a bit of a nerd. It's from the 12th Doctor, to be specific. I will do what I do because it is right. It is decent. Above all, it is kind. I will stand here doing what I will do even if it kills me. So, we're finally graduating, and it feels just about as good as I predicted it would. And even though I'm slightly dreading leaving the comfort of public school, mainly because it's free, I'm sure you all agree. I'm also not that scared because I will eventually return just as a teacher. My activism will follow me throughout all stages of my life as I am not myself without fighting for the unheard. It is this determination that makes me a great student, member of the community, and human being. My journey is far from over and the progress I've made is not frivolous. Though this marks the end of our time together, you will continue to thrive in your very own right. I trust that your stories will continue to evolve even when there is no one to bear witness to your brilliance. I trust that you will find the answers to questions that you seek and continue to search for more. I trust that you'll go far beyond just this podium here today. Thank you.